Good afternoon, space flight enthusiasts. In part two of our NASA double play, it appears that the escapade mission to Mars is not going ahead, at least not as planned, and the moment of truth for Blue Origin that I reported on just a few days ago is not quite so pressing as we originally thought. It turns out that escapade has been rescheduled sometime next year, most probably because New Glenn is is not nearly as close to launching as was originally indicated. And now that a few more details have become apparent, it's very clear that Escapade never had a chance of launching at any time in October, and neither did New Glenn. All of this and more coming at you on The Angry Astronaut right now. Good afternoon, and once again, welcome to this brief bulletin here on the Angry Astronaut. And it's been a bit of a rough time for NASA this month. We've had the Starliner fiasco, and then we've also had Starship being delayed substantially for a variety of different reasons, putting the state of Artemis in question. It's been three months now since the last Starship test flight, and definitely need to get that program going going if we're going to have a successful Artemis 3 flight anytime soon. And now we have the Escapade mission being canceled as well. And this was triggered by a couple of different incidents. Number one, the New Glenn upper stage was supposed to be hot fire tested by the end of August. If there is going to be the slightest hope that this mission could be completed by the launch window established in October. Assuming that this hot fire test was successful, propellant could be loaded on the Escapade spacecraft ahead of time. In fact, there's certain types of propellant that had to be loaded substantially before the launch date, and if for some reason the launch had to be delayed beyond the launch window, unloading the propellant might be problematic for the spacecraft. And, well, the hot fire test didn't happen as expected, and it became very clear that New Glenn might very very well not fly when it was supposed to, meaning that the Escapade spacecraft would were better off not being loaded with this propellant as originally planned. And then after that, the entire mission was essentially canceled, pushed out till next spring 2025. Although the timing of this is very strange indeed, because the Escapade mission was supposed to be taking advantage of a conjunction between the two planets, Earth and Mars, when the two are closest together. In the spring, they're most definitely not going to be that close together, so it must be assumed that given how small these spacecraft are, compared to the immense payload capacity of New Glenn, that even though it will be a later delivery time than originally intended, New Glenn does have the Delta V necessary to deliver the spacecraft to their destination nation, although it won't be this new Glenn doing it. By the time Escapade is scheduled to go now in the spring of 2025, Blue Origin claims that New Glenn will have flown a long time ago, sometime in November or perhaps December, this time with just a dummy payload to certify it for military payloads. Although this rocket needs to carry at least two payloads and possibly three before before the military is going to certify it as being a valid rocket to carry military payloads out to geosynchronous orbit and elsewhere. So why did all this take place? Why all the last second changes? Was it just the upper stage of New Glenn? Well, no, not just that. In addition, even though seven flight certified engines have been delivered to the Cape, as of the time of this recording, they still haven't even been installed on the rocket yet. And although we might think that SpaceX could turn around a rocket that quickly, install the engines, do all the necessary static fires, and get it off the ground in a month or so, it would be a tall order indeed to ask anybody else to do something that quickly. As a matter of fact, we're talking about a brand new rocket that's never flown before. Even SpaceX probably couldn't pull this off, especially if it was carrying a NASA payload in the process. 
it's very clear that New Glenn, for quite some time now, was never going to realistically carry this cargo. And that's probably good news for Rocket Lab. I'm sure they weren't terribly happy about the idea of rushing New Glenn into service, a brand new rocket never flown before, and putting these very valuable spacecraft, at least as far as Rocket Lab is concerned, into the fairing and just hoping for the best. So in the end, this is probably the best solution for everybody concerned, but what it also means is New Glenn is not going to be a fully operational rocket probably by the end of this year. It might be able to carry one test payload, but it won't deliver a legitimate payload until sometime perhaps first quarter or even second quarter 2025 and who knows starship might be delivering payloads by that time as well depending of course on how all these clean water act violation issues go over the course of the next few weeks i'll keep you all up to date thanks very much for watching and as always stay angry about space